Good evening. Police Scotland has confirmed that it's investigating claims by the BBC that a leading member of Glasgow Central Mosque has had links with a banned Islamic terrorist organisation. Sipa A. Sahaba has previously committed massacres in Pakistan. Our home affairs correspondent Reeve Alderson reports. This deadly bomb attack in the Pakistani city of Quetta three years ago killed more than 100 people. It was carried out by the armed wing of a banned group, Sipa e Saba, which targets Shia Muslims and other minority groups, including Christians. These documents detail how Sabir Ali, a leading member of Glasgow Central Mosque, was named as Scottish president of Sipa e Saba. After it was banned in Pakistan and in the UK, he hosted a memorial service at the mosque for the group's assassinated leader. This journalist and writer on Pakistani affairs is shocked there should be links between Scotland and the terror group. It is a nasty sectarian violent organisation, but we have evidence in 2002 that this group was specifically going after Western targets. So obviously it seems disturbing that anybody in this country would have those kind of links um, to a group like that. The documents the BBC has obtained also show Hafiz Abdul Hamid of the Polworth Mosque in Edinburgh was the leader of Sipa e Saba UK. In 2004, again after the group was banned here, he said it would work for the political dominance of Islam. There's evidence his mosque sent financial support to the group. Police say they're now investigating. Well, that investigation started today and we'll seek and try and verify the claims that have been made in the media today. Uh, that will take place from officers based at the Scottish Crime Campus at Gart Kosh. Um, it's hard to say how long that will take, uh, but we'll make every effort to get to the bottom of the, the claims that have been made today as quickly as possible. Today's BBC revelations and earlier claims about the imam of the Glasgow Mosque, Scotland's largest, led to a hastily convened news conference involving the wider Muslim community. This last week has been the worst for our mosque in living memory. We know we cannot carry on in this way, but we are agreed on one thing. We are determined to continue to enrich the community fabric of Glasgow and Scotland, building on our proud heritage, and we look confidently to the future in a spirit of inclusion and unity. Sabir Ali is head of religious events at the Glasgow Mosque. He denies the BBC's allegations. In Edinburgh, Mr Hamid, the leader of the Polworth Mosque, has yet to respond to the BBC. Reeve Olsen, reporting Scotland.